Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna take a look at, at the Cresselia in the Open Great League. I already talked a little bit about this in previous videos as well as on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. But um, this Pokemon is most likely one of the best new Pokemon for the Great League. While it didn't get any buff at all, it still got buffed because Travelant is less common. But also because currently everybody is running Medicham, which you completely wall with this Pokemon. As well as you're going to be able to destroy something like a Lantern or a Cragsire or a Swampert. Because you have coverage with the legacy move Grass Knot, which is going to make this Pokemon so much better. And I'm excited to take a look at this. We're going to have some gameplay sent to us here. Thanks for that as well. Very interesting to take a look at some of the new better Pokemon basically now as well, now where we basically have nearly all the decent new updates um, covered on the channel as well. Definitely going to take a look at some more of the new better Pokemon there that are not getting buffed but still going to be very nice. Here we're going to for example see the Dugong against us, which has access to the move Icy Wound, which is going to definitely make it a little bit more of a tough one, but we see now the Deox is coming in and we can say goodbye to that opponent as they're going to decide to forfeit here. A little bit of a horrible lead here, we're going to see the Noctowl, that's going to be a little bit of a trickier one, but otherwise I actually like this team. You have an answer for those pesky Steel-type Pokemon in the lead here, which you definitely don't want to have against your um, Cresselia. Maybe something like a Galarian Stunfist might be a little bit of a better lead for this team, but definitely Swampert works out pretty well, I think, as well. But of course here, as you're going to see, you have to shield up the sky attack from the opponent. But now in camps the Toxic Rook. You can go ahead and go into your Cresselia, which is definitely a decent play here. Don't know if this is the best one you can do. It definitely is such bomb going to hurt you quite a bit there, but you still see how much damage the fast move does. Just a mud bomb here for sure. Interesting from the opponent to still throw that here. We're going to see now the oh, we're going to see a full undercharge here for the Grass Knot, which is a great play. This player knows how to play this game. I wouldn't have even done that. So we're going to see the Moonblast now coming through from the Cressalia, and this is going to do a ton of damage against the opponent. It comes the Swampert, and of course, we're going to see now the Grass Knot coming through, forcing the final shield of the opponent. You have a ton of energy on your own Swampert here. You force the opponent Swampert to throw a charge move against you, or you're going to catch the move here onto your Sableye. This also works out pretty well, and you should be able to win this game now, as the opponent is going to forfeit their game. What a play there. Amazing lead here for you. Bastion is going to be very fine for you and we're going to see a victory bell coming in. You can swap out fast into your Sableye but it's going to be still a tough one. You have to rely on your Swampert later on to win this game because the opponent can force switch advantage here which is something that you definitely don't want to happen here. You're going to be forced to shield this move up. You're going to get a shield advantage here for sure. You will be also able to farm them down later on with a Cresselia but they are forced to shield this move up so they can realign their Pokemon and now it's all down to your Swampert. Do they have a Medicham in the back then you're most likely going to still be fine in this matchup here but if they don't have a mage champ in the back this can be a little bit tricky that's just a leaf but you have to let this move go through you have to fall you have to go immediately out of this matchup as well as you can see here they're tapping already the swamp but they know what they're doing and we're going to see a tropius in the back and this is just hard wall there there's nothing you can do there this is grassel at this best like still grassel going to work out pretty well in the current meta certainly but very yeah, difficult to deal with this. We're going to see a sand slash and we're going to see the Deoxys coming in and of course this is looking really really decent for you as this Deoxys is going to get completely hardwalled by your team here so far. As we see now the foul play coming through, we're going to knock out the opponent's Deoxys defense while you're also still going to be able to win CMP tie against the opponent's sand slash. Like sand slash do lose CMP tie against the um, Sableye is something which is maybe decent to know as in general knowledge there. So as a Sableye, you would win CMP here, which is good to know. As we see now the Ice Punch coming through, we're going to knock you out. And we can see now the full farm done most likely from the Swampert. And we see the Medicham coming in. And this is exactly why you want to run the Cresselia right now. One Moonblast is going to put them around like 66% of their health, I think, from this point of time. And you just need another Grass Knot to knock them out afterwards. But they're going to shield up the first move anyway. You have the option to, of course, go ahead and try to debuff the opponent with the Moonblast as well. But honestly, you see how bulky this is. The Cresselia is kind of similar bulk to an Umbreon, which is really nice to see because, you know, Umbreon is a damage sponge there as well. And you see the opponent just deciding to forfeit there. There was nowhere to go. Speaking of nowhere to go, Toxic Rogue is not really decent against this team and you're going to be able to go straight for one Hydrogen as the opponent going to swap out there. I would just stay in for a little bit, try to get some extra energy and then swap into my Cresselia, which you're exactly going to do here as well. You could have even went for a little bit more energy there with the Swampert. 
But now you can take one charge move easily. Hydro Pump doesn't two shot you. We don't really care too much about that one. Is he going to be able to get so much energy here already? Grass Knot coming through, We're gonna get shielded by the opponent. Is he going to be able to go for another Grass Knot here? And you can just also go for a shield if you want. But you would also still be able, I think, to survive the incoming move. But now it's coming in here the, um, yeah, what's called? The Galarian Stunfist from the opponent. You put them down to Hydro Cannon range, which is really nice for you, as the opponent doesn't really have anywhere to go with this Galarian Stunfist gear, as well as the Azumarill is coming in. You can let this move go through, and your Sable are going to be able to sweep endgame here. This player definitely knows what they're doing here. They're playing nearly everything perfect here. As you're going to shield this move up, like, there's no real reason to not shield here, even though it's a known Ice Beam there, just in case. And we see now the Toxic Crow coming in, which doesn't really have any play at all here anymore. You will be able to shield this move up, let this move go through, it doesn't really matter. The opponent has no play, just go for two foul plays and you're going to be able to win this game fairly easy. You're going to even swap out here, which is totally okay as you can go for one move list. And we see the Crest Salia Showcase here, boom, going to knock out the opponent there. Very good game, very well played so far by this player as well. As he's going to encounter a Noctowl here. Again, Noctowl is not really ideal for this team. Noctowl is going to be a very difficult one to deal with. As you're going to see the Hydro Cannon coming through, going to do around half of the health of the opponent here. But in comes now the Sky Attack that's going to get shielded up. You're still going to be able to at least get them pretty low in like the two shield scenario if you like. But I don't think you're going to be able to outspeed them. They need in total 17 fast moves to get there and you need for the four moves... 18. So yeah, you definitely don't get there. Especially I think you need get to need one extra one as well. So yeah, you definitely would lose the two shield scenario by like two or three turns or fast moves there. So it's going to be not ideal for you. But you're going to be able to swap out now onto the Sable and you can knock them out here in time, which was a really good swap. As you now still preserve your um, Swampert as well as you're going to still have the Sable Eye around, which can still get to one foul play here on the CMP type for whatever reason they went for it. I think I think they would have got to it one fast move earlier, but this is going to be totally fine for you as you can now let this move go through, of course, without a shield, you have no options really. But you can go ahead and go into the Chrysalia. Sure, we ended out the clock a little bit there, but it is totally fine as the opponent didn't decide to swap out here. You can just go ahead, go for the Grass Knot, knock them out here. They're going to easily knock out these, the Warren from the opponent, and we see now the Perfect matchup for you. You're going to see the Medicham coming in. Let's see how much damage is actually going to do here. I have no idea. It does around 60% of the health of the opponent. And now even the Grass Knot would be enough, especially after the debuff of the attack there as well. This game is over, man. And the opponent going to decide to forfeit here as well. Good game there. Very nice lead for your Swamp it again. A Sand Surge in the lead going to be fine for you. We see the Deoxys coming in. You can go into your Sableye. And this looks like a very decent matchup. And the opponent had enough already. That was a quick one. Goodbye there. Another Sableye here now against you. You can go ahead and go. You have to stay in here actually. You're forced to stay in because the um, Cresselia in the back. It's still a decent matchup for you. Luckily the opponent shield there as you missed one fast, uh, like one bubble there because of the lag I think. So here you're going to be able to hit them all and you're going to also be able to hit the opponent. You could let this move go through, but you're going to decide to shield this move up and swap into your Sableye right now, getting out the Azumar of the opponent. You can go ahead and go straight for the return here, doing a lot of damage. You can survive on charge move from the opponent as well, I think still. And you might be able to reach the... F Actually, are you going to shield this move or are you going to let this move go through? Let's see what's coming in. The player is coming in. It does knock you out now at this point of time. You're forced to go into your um, Cresselia at this point of time because the yeah, Swampert won't really have the best matchup here. You will be able to get a lot of energy though now because the opponent should be energy dry at this point of time. And you're going to try to get energy with your Swampert as the opponent decides to swap into the Sableye. You can try to farm them all the way down, which works out really well for you. You have a ton of energy right now. Do they go back into the Azumarill? That seems like it. You should have went for one more fast move before in my opinion. But it's going to be okay because now we're going to see another Medicham in the bag. That's going to be so nice for you. As there is no way that this Medicham is going to do enough damage against the Crystalia here. This counter is going to be resisted. Ice Punch is not doing a lot of damage anyway. Dynamic Punch is resisted. Psychic is resisted. Power Up Punch does no damage to them. And this is just a game over. Like Medicham is getting completely destroyed by Crystalia, Which is just the best thing to see to be fair. Let's see. Next opponent. We're going to see a Noctowl here in the Lead, which is going to be again not the ideal one, but we saw this matchup already prior. 
they had a great out for this. This is something that you also kind of have to know. While like there might be some bad matchups in general, if you play a team for a long period of time and you kind of just like you know your team a little bit better there, you might be able to just find those outs, which this player here definitely finds a lot of times, which is really good to see to win some games that you should like supposed to not win really. So this is really cool to see here that this player is just playing out this Noctowl match up like that, allowing it actually to knock them out here immediately. In comes the Medicham, you're going to farm up at, and at one charge move there, which is going to be amazing as he get out the Lantern. And this is literally the dream for any Cresselia user here. While the Lantern most likely going to have a tough time already against the Sableye, there is literally zero play for the opponent right now. There is nothing they can do. Foul play is coming through, going to do a ton of damage against the opponent, they're going to let this move go through, but they don't know what's waiting for them in the back. This is going to be so nice to see. You can even farm them down with the Swampet if you want to, and you're exactly going to do that. You try to go for the Earthquake? Oh no, you're going to go for the Hydro Cannon here, but it does not matter at all. They're going to shield this move up, of course, and they're going to see now the Cressalia in the back, and there is literally no play for them. Look at this, Psychic doing no damage at all. Still going to get the defense drop, and who cares? Nobody cares, because this move is going to do so much damage against them, it's just unfair at this point of time. So if you have a Cresselia for the Great League, this Pokemon right now is just so so strong. We see the full farm down here coming in and we're going to be able to win this game. And we're going to go into the final game of today. Horrific lead here with the Altaria, you swap out into the Sableye and get out the Azumarill. It might be beneficial for you to try to force the switch advantage here by maybe going for like few shields but the opponent decides to invest a shield. I feel like there's also already a decent spot for you, you can let this move go through maybe. Oh you're going to shield, that's also cool. Definitely you can also play that, like you either want to try to get switch advantage or shield advantage here, that's like the main play for you. You're going to be able to bait the shield here, this is an amazing play because now you can definitely still get to the return and definitely should be able to realign your Pokemon as you're going to be even able to overform by quite a bit and this return should do enough damage to knock out the opponent and that's not all. If they go back into the Altaria, which they do, they can farm you down, but you can still get to the foul play, and this put should put them into the range for just a one moon blast here. So you're going to be able to now go ahead, go for the moon blast, and the opponent goes for one charge move here first. Let's see what's coming in here. It's going to be the sky attack, and in comes from the opponent. They try to catch the move. You try to catch the move. It's going to be the Deoxys, and your Swampert will love this alignment here right now. They're going to go straight for the psycho boost here right now. Oh no, it's a rock side bait. This is going to be even better for you as you can now go for two hydro cans. This is going to knock out the opponent's Deoxys defense. As you're going to see here, another one going to be enough to knock them out, and we see now the Cressalia coming in afterwards, you can get farmed down here, they even throw for whatever reason, like don't throw it there man, just farm them down, but it's going to be game over, is this Moonblast going to one shot the opponent, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like on the video as well, helps out a ton, subscribe if you haven't already, there are two videos on the screen right now, check them out if you haven't already, and I see you in the next one, bye bye.